Oh, I played Julia. Whoops. <laughs> Julia it is. You have, to, you have to face your fears. You have to be able to fight your bad matchups. You have to get over it. Like, you know that game, getting over it? <laughs> Wait, this is the guy with the hammer and he's going up and up and up and up. We in? We in. We in. Are we? We are. All right. Just warming up, so am I. Surprise. Miguel also loves that. The second hit, the second hit whiffing. I mean, the first hit whiffing. Even Miguel loves that. The F4-2 and 3-4. Ooh. Ha-ha. Okay. Oh, he didn't continue. Yeah, that's that reaches a lot of negative 13s and negative 14s. Like, I don't even have to think about it. Then if I'm super on point FF1 plus 2, right? Oh, hey, I know that cheese. <laughs> I know where that's from. I understood that reference. Flashing arrow, all right. One, two again, out. Okay, down three, four. I'm out of here, I'm out of here. What's the plan? Blonded. Oh no, I gambled, I thought it was the hell sweep. I got hit by the 50-50. Aha. Backdash to Rage Art, fantastic. Backdash, confirm, and then you do the RA. I could have done F1 plus 2 instead. The power crush. Round three. Fight. That would have been a far better choice. Damn, that hurts a lot. Mm hmm, the DF2 channeling his inner Paul Phoenix. There you go, step right. This is reach. Oh, it does. One, two. <gasps> no, no launch. No launch, no launch. That is launch. Again, war drum, the second hit is launch punishable on block. And Horan can get these live streams. No problems. Whether that be Road to Blue Cheese, Cheese Dojang, or Dojang Exhibitions, Feel free to let me know. Of course, you can always just message this Facebook page as well. Or if you're in the Cheese HQ, you can tag me there and say you want a slot. Ooh. Not committing. A little hesitant on the strings, Mr. Blonded. In this case, he's just warming up. Soon enough, Horang will be unleashed. Soon. Ooh. Ah, the FF1. That's like the one thing I have to get used to. Like most of the floats... Our FF1. Mm -hmm. No, no, up to the sky. There you go. Blonded with five slices of cheese. Oh, up back 3 3 right at the start. He's giving me the cheese. Warm up time is over, apparently. It's over, it's over. I, why am I? What has compelled me to challenge everyone's frame they, frames, all their positive frames? What has compelled me to do that? Such a bad idea. <laughs> it's a bad idea at the at the moment because it's not giving me an advantage. I need to slow it down. Be more. Be be like water in Infinite to Zero. There's so much water around us. Oh wow. Ah, but you know what? That's okay. One, two, three. And that's seven slices of cheese. See, so far, so good. One, two. It is definitely a doable matchup. Ooh! Ah. Was that because I was getting into the rhythm of it? Bobbing my head to it? Was it? Was that the cause? Perfect. 
I don't know. Hopefully that isn't the case later. Oh, that's right. I have down 2-3, so right? I have another panic. I have like something like Nina and Anna's down jab panics, including Armor Kings. I forget I have that. Because all the other characters I play don't have that. Ooh. Like we're not we're not blessed with those with those moves. Oh, wow, that really hits bloody guillotine. I'm always looking for launches. That should be enough, right? No, it's not. The five plus HP buff, big. It's big. It helped blonde. You know, thirty seconds. Still doable. You had rage. Yeah, one rage. Switch, I say down to four stand switch. And you're fighting a Mishima. That's one god fist, and you're in the sky, enjoying the view. There you go, the strings. What is the plan? So just like Mr. Brownie and Ethan, I'm also on point with those down to four punishes. One, two. One, two. One, one. All right, okay. Yeah, that's the only punish I can get, right? <laughs> that's the problem with her wall standing punishment. A little bit. Because it's just while standing four, while standing three. Then you have the basic while standing one. And you have while standing two. Which is very unique. I like while standing two. Mm -hmm. Sidestep right. Easy. You have to watch out if you're a Huang. Opponents will be stepping and weaving around. That's like the main anti-horang I highly recommend to do. Of course, you can do other types of anti-horangs, but this is like the safest. And the one that'll give you far more opportunities. Ooh! It's like every time I get hit by one of the other launchers. It's just like, have you gotten hit by this launcher? No? All right, it's gonna go in. Mm-hmm. Damn, that does a ton. It's gonna get some getting used to <laughs> because Miguel one two one two easy. So are we gonna continue piling up these these win counts or not? Will Blonded get a gain? Oh. Okay. There you go, moving in. All right, realigning with movement. Beautiful stuff here from Blonded. Ooh, I'll take it. They want to get hit by backlash there. Ooh, okay, that's a new way to avoid the snake edge. Just jump, just jump. <laughs> I should really crouch cancel there. Crouch cancel FF14. Or even just crouch cancel 1-2. That'd be better. Mmm, going big for a launcher. Looking to throw in some cheese. is blonded. Damn. I can't get a hold of that timing. Down three. Mmm, alright. So doing jabs there doesn't work. It doesn't. It doesn't, it doesn't. I know, I ruined it. That was DF2-1. And I got F21. Clean your inputs, ladies and gentlemen. So you can get the results you want, mainly. Movement. Sh movement. Man, that really sucks you in, huh? If the DF2 hits, everything else hits. Insane. I don't think Miguel's Twin Pistons does... Yeah, no, it doesn't. It, it's an inferior version. Ouch, Layu. The Cheese Keeper. One, two. One, oh, no. Cheese Keeper. Basic b, &B that does 75 damage. Okay. What do I do there? Aside from a basic FF1 combo. RT, I need your knowledge. I need to take a page from your book. The Book of Julia. Mm-hmm. Oh, back three. The panic back three. 
I gotta stop doing that. Mm -hmm. One, two. Oh, wow. Very good. Very good. Two slices of red cheese for Blonde. 99 to 19. Fresh new 60 seconds on the clock. No. Well, that's right. Master Duel's out, right? Anyone playing Yu-Gi-Oh? Do you like the XYZs? Do you like the Pendulums? The Link Monsters? The OTKs? Because <laughs> there's a ton of them. The last time I played Yu-Gi-Oh was like at Synchros. It's pretty far out. Mm. That's now 4-0. So right beside match point. Rather than just like the match vault itself, I'd want to have an HD version. So if there are any alternatives to like downloading Facebook streams, if anyone knows, do let me know. I'd greatly appreciate it. Standing four. Maybe I should have just done the first part bow and arrow. Just the first part. Mm -hmm. Keep you at the wall. Okay. <laughs> Fair enough. I had no frames there. Mm -hmm. Oh, negative seven. No, no back three. No guaranteed back three. Oh wow! It misaligned. Mole. Okay. That's still caught. It eats up a lot of space because if you record while streaming, diba? Right? So that's why when I was streaming back on Twitch and back in 2019, that's what I did. I would record while streaming, and then when I would look at my my hard drive, I'd be like, "Oh, it died. It's literally just dead. The hard drive doesn't exist anymore." So that's why I was like, oh, you know what? I'm willing to take stream quality. Perfect. And so far, that's been all the open firing lessons, all the cheese thoughts, all the flamingo matchups. Like that quality is okay. Of course, it could be always. I could always increase the bits, right? Because I do have the internet capability to do so. I know, but enough. I'm a le. So that's like my only issue with recording or streaming. It's just the the space it eats up. And then when I look at it, oh no, it's it's gone, it's dead. You know, or it's good games to blonde it. Good games. I'm not seeing uh, a lot of anti horn. If that's the case, that's an advantage to me. That's how you play horn. <laughs>